and welcome to another Dan's Diagnostics YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently as I have been a lucky boy as recently I've been sent this top down BT600 battery tester to do a review on. So let's get it unboxed and we'll have a play. So before we unbox it, we'll just quickly flip the box over, have a quick read of what's on the back. It says for all types of 12 volt and 24 volt batteries, offers battery tests for 12 volt batteries with state of health, state of charge, internal resistance tested, CCA, rated CCA and battery health status. Performs charging tests for 12 and 24 volt batteries, loaded, unloaded and ripple voltage. Includes cranking tests for 12 and 24 volt batteries, cranking time and voltage. We've got a reverse polarity protection and spark pre free protection, so uh, this helps prevent the risk of anything bad happening, connecting up backwards or any sparks occurring. Lifetime free updates, I believe if we do connect up the lead to a Windows uh, computer that we can get uh, updates for free. And we get a data playback function and it also has a printer built in. Let's get it opened up then. So we just lift the lid inside the box, it's a nice little carry case, top down imprinted, looks nice, open up, see what's inside the packet, so a couple of rolls of paper there for the printer, awkward one handed, pull the machine itself out, it's nice and big, you can see the size of my hand, not got little hands. Looks good, feels good to touch. With this, see reels of paper going here for the printer. It's nice. You do need to connect this up to the vehicle to be able to get it to turn on. Then inside, we've got a quick user guide and the user manual. Just have a quick look through these pages. Just tells us what should be in the box. We should have battery test cable with clamps. Mini USB to USB cable, three rolls of printer paper, which we've seen, the carry bag, which we've seen, and obviously the user manuals. Go through, it's just got information about getting started and using it. Different kind of batteries, how to use the machine. There we go, battery test, cranking test, charging test, review data. We'll have a look at all this though when we actually get it connected up. So then, go back into the packet. See that we've got a nice set of clamps, nice tension on these, you should have a nice grip. Just take a look inside, you can see screws on each side. Inside the wire has two wires, one going to each side. So if one wire does break, we still have connection on the other. That's a nice touch. And both of them have got VGA style cable. Let's connect up into the top, which was the right way around. That's a snug fit going in there, that's in, and then we do have these screw connectors just to keep it nice and secure, again that's another nice little touch. I do believe these cables are nearly six feet long, which can help you be sat inside the vehicle to help start it up and have the machine in your hand. And then, last but not least inside the carry case is our USB cable. This does connect just in here. And this is the lead we'll use to connect up to a, a Windows based computer to be able to do updates. So far, so good. Let's get it connected up to a vehicle battery. We'll have a play. So here we are. We're now underneath the bonnet of my very own 2019 Mark IV Focus ST. And you can see, just connect up the top of the battery. Tester now. We touch the battery, there's no signs of any sparks, no matter which way around you connect them up, which is nice. Straight away, as soon as you do that, you can see that the tester turns on. We've got a reading here showing the battery voltage is 12.4 volts. And there are menu is got a battery test, cranking test, charging test, review data, language, and about. So we'll just quickly run a battery test. So as you can see, we've got a flooded battery, 600 amp. So we come on here, footy battery, SAE, 600 amp. I've already tested it, just have a play with it, sort of video it now. Runs the test, tells me that my battery is good, but it requires charging. State of health is 100%, 
but the battery charge is only 66%. This does kind of make sense because my stop charge stop start has stopped working recently. Do I have to charge the battery? I think we're gonna have to do a battery drain check on this if I'm being completely honest, which is for another video. Anyway, if we now click enter again, straight away you can see it prints the information off for us. Gives the information, battery test, good, requires charging, and again just repeats the information that we saw on the screen. Then we can click exit and we can go back and it takes us there. We'll just quickly go back into this menu. Just before we click enter again, if we click the M button, it takes us straight back to the main menu. If we come down, we can do a cranking test or a charging test. We'll do these in a second. Come down to review data. You can see when we click it, it just shows the different tests that we have done. So I've already done cranking tests and stuff. You can just see the different checks from where I've been using it. Languages shows you the different languages that we can use and then last of it last but not least this gives us a little bit of information on the software version of the tester so now if we click exit what i have found unfortunately i'm in the uk my battery is on the near side of the passenger side of the vehicle but not a problem we come over here get this up into that gap there. We can now get inside the car. By doing that, it means that I can have the battery tester next to me. So, what we will do is we'll just come down to cranking test, click enter, and it tells you please start the engine. It gives you 30 seconds to do so. So, start the engine here. Engine detected, cranking time tells you it's normal. We'll click enter again, it'll print this information out for us. Then, if we click exit, we can go back. Now, we're just going to click down, go to the charging test, click enter, please start the engine, press enter to continue. Gives a nice little graph, does a test. And asks us now to increase the engine speed to 2500 RPM. So if we just get those revs up. And we click enter again, it's going to run another test now. That's now finished, it says charging is normal. You see there it's charging at 14 and a half volts also gives you the ripple voltage click enter again and it prints off just click M, takes us back to the main menu just turn the car off, we'll have a look at these printouts it's a bit awkward one handed but nice easy tear off and there you can see we've got our battery test information our cranking test information and our charging test information so far with what I've used of this uh, little tester, I must admit, it's absolutely spot on. I do really, really like it, and it will become part of my daily testing procedures. Absolutely love it. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please do not hesitate to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.